Hello, Bacho. Let's read the question. The question says here a solid spherical conductor of radius r has a spherical cavity of radius a into a less than r at its center. A charge plus q is kept at the center. The charge at the inner surface, outer and at a position r into a less than r less than capital R r respectively. Okay, let's find out. So consider a Gaussian sphere of radius adjust including the inner surface of the sphere. So since the surface of surface is inside the conducting region, E vector is equals to zero vector. Okay, thus flux through the Gaussian surface is zero. Using Gauss law, integration of E dot ds is equals to q enclosed divided by epsilon naught okay so we get the charge enclosed within the gaussian sphere is zero as e is equals to zero okay but the cavity contains a charge of plus q hence the inner surface of the conductor contains a charge of minus q now consider a gaussian sphere of radius r radius r is a less than r less than capital r as shown in the figure okay the surface of the sphere lies within the conducting spherical cell hence e equals to e vector equals to 0 okay thus flux through the gaussian surface is 0 by gauss law the total charge enclosed in the gaussian surface is 0 but the charge inside the cavity is plus q and the inner surface of the conductor has a charge of minus q hence charge hence charge at the location at the location r is zero okay so but uh, the charge inside the cavity is plus q and the inner surface of the conductor has a charge of minus q okay so initially initially the charge on the conductor is zero hence by principle by principle of conservation of charge by principle of conservation of charge total charge on outer surface and inner surface and the interior is zero Okay, so inner surface has a uh, charge of minus q and the interior has zero. Okay, hence the outer surface has a charge of plus q. This is the answer. Option number B is the correct answer. Thank you.